Hello everyone, this is Chad with a good creative tutorial. Today I want to show you how to create an animated GIF using Photoshop. And uh, some of these are almost like works of art. A lot of them, you know, they're, people create them to uh, make different memes and things like that. But um, some people have created actually, if you go to cinemagraphs.com, I guess it's trademarked. They create anime GIFs except uh, they can use some masking techniques so that only certain part of the photo moves. So this looks like a movie, but it's actually a uh, cinemagraph. So this is all the same. You see the reflection there, but just one part of the photo really moves. All right, so it's pretty cool. Uh, you can check out some of those. And I think one of these, actually my, one of my favorite ones is uh, when you go to NYC, and then like this reflection of the cab that goes by everything else is pretty still just this reflections moving and this one here everyone's still except this guy a couple frames of turning the paper so it's pretty unique all right and then this one the cabs are moving nothing else is moving so um i'll show you how to do that so go ahead and download the support files that in the description of the YouTube video and these are just some photos I took at a local park a while ago and example one is just looking at up at a tree branch and if I press the right arrow you can kind of see it's moving I just did a burst mode on you could take frames from a video uh, but I just did burst mode on the camera so the one with the koi pond it has a lot more photos in it so if you just hold down the right arrow if I just hold it down it goes pretty quickly but if I just press right 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 you know so you get kind of a movement here all right so I'll show you how to do the basic anime gif and then I'll tell you what to do to create kind of a cinemagraph look if you want to mask out a certain part of it. So go ahead and download that. Right click over the zipped folder once you have it downloaded and um, extract it all and go ahead and open up Photoshop. All right. So it, what we want to do is open up a bunch of these and then make them all on their own layer. Now that would be really time consuming if we just, for example, if I opened up and if you just have a couple photos, it's probably not that big of a deal. But if you open up like fo four photos, you know, holding shift, and what you would want to do is pull each one off the top here, and then use the move tool and click and drag that one onto the other one. So if you have a very basic uh, anime GIF, you want to you can do that. Now you do want to make it sure it locks to the edges. Make sure you go to view and then snap to document balance is selected and also snap there because then you want it perfectly over the top there all right so you'd repeat that process just pull the next one off and then move to use the move tool click and drag it over get it fit perfectly and you would keep doing that I'll just stop after this one because I want to show you the better way which is more automated all right so I'll just close these other four out for now. So what you'll do, you'll have some layers here, and we're going to use the animation frame, uh, animation pa panel. But here's a better way. All right, instead of that manual way, go ahead and just go to File, Scripts, and then Load Files into Stack. All right, then go to Browse and we want to select all these photos or however many you want all right and for the purpose of the story i'm just going to do i'm going to do like eight of them all right because that might take a little bit long so however many you want and i'm going to click ok and so they're all listed here uh go ahead and click ok and it's just opening it for me, stacking it on top. And this takes a little bit longer. I'll just skip ahead in the tutorial until after this is done. Okay. 
So I'll go to, that didn't take too long. Um, I'll go ahead and go to the layers panel here. If you don't have that, go to window and layers. And notice 80, 81, 82, 83, 84. You do need want to make sure they're in that order. All right. And if I hit the eye icon of each layer succeeding it, you get that movement. All right. So next thing is to go to window, then animation. And if by default you see like all this timeline, almost like you're in a video editing software like After Effects or anything with this 15F, uh, one minute mark F and all those layers, um, go ahead and go to the bottom right hand corner and just click on that. And then that will turn it into just this animation frame. That's what we wanna see. All right, just animation frames. So for this first one, we want the top one showing. And that's correct. We don't want a 10 second. If you look at the bottom here, that would mean that that frame is there for 10 seconds. Let's just do ha maybe 0.2 seconds. Then create a new animation frame, just on that button there. Then click the visibility layer, or I'm sorry, the visibility icon, the little eye icon. So then we can click on the first one, click on the second one, and see the difference. All right. Then create another frame. Uncheck that one. Create another frame. All right, so we got this one, that one, that one, that one. All right, so see how that's working. So create another frame. Uncheck that. Create another frame. Uncheck that. Create another frame. All right. So we'll repeat that. That's why I just want to do eight for this example. All right. So if you click the play button, it will preview it, what it'll look like. So I hit the pr play animation down here, and you can see it up there, animate. So we're almost done. We, you, if you want a longer delay, you can adjust it here. All right, other, you can do a customizable one, or you can just do 10 seconds, one second, 0.2 seconds, you know, whatever. So once you want to save it, Go to File, and instead of Save or Save As, just go to Save for Web. We want to GIF the GIF. That's correct. And see how it says Loading Options? Instead of Once, just go to Forever. That means it will loop instead of just playing once. All right. Then when you hit Save, it will go ahead and let you save it. All right. And you should have something that looks sort of like this. This is just eight frames, all right? So that's pretty cool, that's an animated GIF. Now, for the Cinemagraph effect, one thing that's different is that parts of it are masked out. So for example, let's say we wanted these fish to move, but not this. All right, so we wanted that to be the same. So the difference between making an animated GIF where just each frame is an entirely new image and making a cinemagraph where part of it's masked out uh, is basically you want to use the same photo for all the frames except one part is changing. So for example, let's just use this top photo here for all the frames for this area, right? But this area, say the fish will move. All right, so I'll show you what I mean. If I create a new frame here, and now on this new frame, we do need to mask out, but the problem is if we mask out this top layer, it will uh, affect this other first frame as well. All right, so what we need to do is duplicate that top layer. So press Control J, so we got a copy of it, right? Then add a mask and just mask out, paint some black with a soft edge brush. Something like that. And we'll want to hit the icon of that top area. All right. So notice between those two, it's a little bit different just in the fish area. All right. 
So if I go back to frame one, this top layers shows and that's it. That's pretty simple. Go to frame two and we want the icon actually unchecked at the top because we duplicated that, but then we also masked out part of that as well. So for the next one, we'd actually, we'd actually still keep the pixels up here of uh, this area. We'd still need to mask out below, but all we gotta do is click the eye icon of this one. So if, if I click here and click there, it's pretty much the same. Just press the eye icon and then it changes, right? Now create a new frame, then hit the eye icon here. All right, then create a new frame, eye icon here. Create a new frame, eye icon here. And then create a new frame, eye icon there. All right, now if I hit play, notice that just this area is moving. Let me hit it again, just that area. All right, because it seems this part's probably kind of more confusing than just the basic animated GIF. The key is having one photo layer that is going to be the same, not it's going to be stat static, it's not moving. You're going to mask through, adding a layer mask, wherever you want there to be movement. Then you toggle the visibility of each layer for every new frame for the rest. So it will, wherever the mask is, that black area, it will show through so that you get the really uh, unique look here. So in some of hers or his, I'm not sure, I think it's two people, yeah. Um, for example here, this would be just one layer and then it's masked out right here. So there's a handful of layers below there that are showing through, all right? So this would be there one layer and then multiple layers. And also with the person coming through, it gets a little bit more complicated as you can see. Um, but it's good to just start with more simple example of where everything's not moving except one area. And you just use masking to create that cinemagraph. So hopefully that was clear. Um, I know the second part's just a little bit more complicated, but be sure to subscribe. Uh, I have more Photoshop tutorials on the way, fun little things like this, and also uh, more advertising and promotional techniques I use in those industries using Photoshop on the way. So subscribe on YouTube, and we will see you next time. Thanks.